now. Yes! The song, imaginary song worked. Well done, Senzo. Yay! Hi, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Hello, you. Oh, you've got so big. Hello, Ribbon. It's all right, sweetheart. It's okay, sweetheart. There we go. Our hyenas are home once again. And flop, down goes Ribbon as the two little ones suckle away. Okay. I cannot tell you how relieved I am. Finally having a chance to see them. Though despite their terrible reputation, spotted hyenas are probably my favorite predator, although it is hard to choose, you know, when you think about leopards and wild dogs. And certainly hyenas are probably not conventionally as pretty, although you, nobody can deny that the cubs are utterly adorable. They look like little bear cubs with those massive ears. Listen to, I don't know, I'm gonna try and be quiet so you can hear the sounds they're making. Of course, as I said that, they went quiet. Little sidelong glance in my direction. They're niggling at each other, trying to find a good and suitable position. And of course, these little hyena cubs will already have their own established hierarchy between siblings. I still haven't spent enough time with them to truly get an idea as to just what that hierarchy is. Their mum is Ribbon, patiently sitting with them. Sleeping away. Hey girl. Shame, that can't be very comfortable. Because of course hyena cubs are born with fully erupted teeth. So that must be very uncomfortable for her. Welcome to Muhammad and thank you for sending through your question. Uh, as you can see, these babies are still very much reliant upon their mum. But Muhammad would like to know how long before they are able to leave her. Our spotted hyenas actually lactate and suckle their cubs for a considerable period of time, sometimes over a year. It depends very much upon the hyena. Sometimes it is eight months, sometimes it's over a year, sometimes up to a year and a half that the females will suckle their cubs. And that means that they actually have a relatively long dependency period. And you're probably looking at hyena cubs only becoming independent at around about a year and a half old. However, they do start to follow their mums at around about between 10 to 12 months old, particularly if their mother is a lower ranking female. And the reason behind that is, in theory, in a very packed den site, only the higher ranking females will bring food back to the den for the cubs to start eating solid meat. But for the lower ranking females, they've actually got to take their cubs with them. And if these are female cubs, if there is a female with them, they could end up staying in the clan with their mother for the rest of their lives. They might not ever move away from her. So in a way, whilst they're not still dependent on her, they're still with her for the period of their entire lifespan, which I think is quite special. If it's a little male, even then, it might stay around and be part of the clan, although its interactions will be very different to its female sibling because male spotted hyenas automatically fall below the ranking of the females. They're much smaller and generally more submissive. That little cub is falling asleep on its feet, it's suckling. The other one is stretched out. And you can see them pushing with their paws up against their mum. And that, of course, is to stimulate milk production. Little cub's eyelids are drooping while it suckles. Now, the lovely thing about spotted hyena dens, usually, is that it's not just a place to raise babies, it's actually a social hub. And sad, um, you want to know how often the other members of the clan will come and visit the den site. Relatively regularly, and although we haven't seen much of that interaction yet, it's very often a way of basically connecting with the rest of the clan members, reaffirming the bonds, reaffirming the hierarchy, just in general. So I'm sure that overnight, 
I'm sure that these cubs have already met several members of the hyena clan itself. They've probably come through to visit. I've seen lots of tracks coming in and out. So they probably even come through, a member of the clan could come through once every day or every two days to come and say hello to the little cubs and to come and greet their mother. So it is very much a social hub. And what I'm looking forward to as these cubs grow up is I'm hoping that with the sort of the time period being correct, I'm hoping that we might actually get several different ages of cubs now at the den site itself. So when Madam and Pretty, and even Scarback actually, who probably are next in line to have cubs, just in terms of time from when they last had cubs, Pretty is probably next along with Scarback, because Pretty's last cub was born in November 2015.